Hello, Billy the Artist here, and we're going to have some summer fun. We have already done from the secret life of pets, Max, Duke, and Gidget. And the other night we did watch Inside Out again. And you can remember if you go to my How to Draw playlist, uh, you will find how to draw joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust. And you'll see how to just have fun with all the drawing techniques on using shapes. Again, this is for beginners. Here's the trusty 2B pencil. But again, this is from The Secret Life of Pets. And today we are going to do Snowball. So go back and check. You can check how to do Max, how to do Duke. I had so much fun. This big shape, this big, fantastic shape of how to do Duke. It was just fantastic. You just all the colouring in was amazing and just good fun. Let's go check that one out. That was worth doing. But there we have Max, the nice simple dude. But it was Gidget, the fluffy. And I've been asked to do snowball. And again, so we've got the nice fluffy white thing. How do you do white on white? And it isn't. It's a case of using your pencil, being creative with your pencil and shading and things like that. So we are going to do today the fluffy fierce from bunny that is snowball oh, he is a bit of a insane creature as it says so we're going to dive straight in so here you can see because he's got such huge ears we're going to split the the page so i'll draw the construction lines a bit stronger so you can see so there's the halfway point and his feet are bottom of his body and his feet are going to come down about there so you can see that his chin and his head is going to be there and so we'll just put a little, couple of little marks and then you just want a nice oval shape to start off for his head so there's one shape straight away let's just whack a box in down here and a box in there the carrot is just a big kind of triangle with little bits out the back we'll whack them on later his arm coming down is going to be a little box and we can just add a little bit of curve on that. And down there, that's his fluffy tail out the back. And then his front right paw is a box. And there's another oblong box for his front left paw. And there's another box for his front left arm. Now his face, his eyes, so let's just draw a line right the way through the centre. So that carries across. Like I say, I've gone right the way over, but that doesn't matter because you're going to have his ear, which is in the centre, and this eye comes down to about there, and then you can halve them up. Just put your reference points in. Now his eye from this side is just the shape. So if you just think of a bowl, and there you've got the shapes and we're just whacking his eyes in really quick and again his right eye is bigger than his left eye so it seems here just there's more showing on this now his nose let's just put another box in here and then his teeth just another little oblong box and this in a sense is how you could do abstract art cubist art or things like that so here now we're going to have this ear so let's just draw a big line up there and draw a box in all the way down and you know that the point of his ear where it joins his head it's just like a big letter c so if we just draw that line down and then inside his ear we mirror that just a long elongated capital C and there's his big ear up and again this one if you look here where the point is so we're going to have a box there rather than thinking oh that's a bit of a big curve what do I do you can either just do a big N which is all it is or just do two boxes like that so there you've got two boxes that go and that gives you the guide to actually draw the curve over for his ear and then you can draw it inside follow the shape off the top of that box down so the corner off this one is off for his ear and you just come down and draw the end of snowball's ear there 
and then you've got essentially just a very long kind of triangle there and that's the inside the pink bit inside and there is Snowball's left ear so now we've got his eyebrows and that's just like a bird you know how you draw a bird very quickly yeah, let's just get a piece of paper when you're going out and you first draw birds you just do that it's a bit like a V but it's got a little bit of a curve there going down and that's his sinister eyebrows for his insane look now again his nose is just down from this point on his eye and you could either draw a box or just a triangle there's just a triangle for his nose it's got rounded corners and then the line down to his teeth so there we have a cubist drawn snowball it's quite strange isn't it really when you think this is like how old master paintings apparently were done you know it's like all oh, this abstract art it's cobblers but this is all good stuff again i'll just bring back max so you can see here we have max and you can see all the parts again how the boxes were drawn in there's the box for his ear and then drawing the line across and the triangle inside the box so that's all we've done again for snowball so now we're going to detail him up quite quickly and if you remember i'm doing a very dark outline you don't have to do as dark an outline as i'm doing so I'm going to bring his ear down and take that fluffy point up a bit higher and then you can get your eraser and you can take out that line at the top of there and you can make the fluff ordinarily I would say draw lines quick but because he's kind of fuzzy you can just draw a little wiggle I remember when I first started drawing I would do lines like this and I always wondered why it looked a bit strange in all of my items it's because you're not using the fluidity of your arm to create a nice smooth line whereas for snowball and fluffy creatures you can have this kind of slightly fuzzy edge it just makes him stand out a bit so here you can see I'm just making the fur kind of go so it, on his ears it's pointing down so make sure you kind of jaggedy points point down in the way that the fur kind of goes remember especially when you're doing your shading what you want is to go in the direction of the fur as I showed you with Duke again please do like and subscribe to the video and you'll be updated when I post new videos so here we've got the edge of his head Let's just create that angle a bit better of snowball's insane brain container and then you got a bit of a straight line down there to the edge of his cheek and then coming underneath his fuzzy furry chin on his arm and then let's fuzz up his brows again I'm making these lines a little bit darker just so it's easy to see on the tutorial and you can make them a little bit lighter when you do yours so that the edge is there or again you could just if you've done them too dark go over with your eraser and you can lighten them off afterwards but I'm doing these so that you can actually see all the work and all the lines and it's just good fun so let's pull his nose in now his eyebrow over the top so there's his going down to his eye and his eyelid 
if we bring that there, uh, it just goes over the edge a little bit and then darken up under his eye bring the outside of his iris in and then his pupil goes right up to the corner now because of my construction lines I'm just going to erase that corner because I want the big highlight dot in art I can remember it was called a farkle like the kind of sparkly ding on metal and the point in your eye so I'm now darkening that down and I've left the white of the paper showing through for Snowball's eye now for the same on this side let's draw the eye up and the reason they kind of have his eyebrows pointing down is to make him look sinister in these eyes just having it curved a little bit in it's using the expression to make him look evil and nasty and dark so this one's got no sparkle because it's more in the shadow now I'm going to just shade that in and darken that down quite quickly and the same with the iris on that side and then I'm going to use again remember the putty eraser you can pull it to a point to bring that highlight back in because he's got very very cute bright blue eyes which makes him even more sinister and nasty so now we're going to bring down to his teeth and his nose and then the side of his nose and then the teeth remember you've got this little box here so you can now just pull those teeth in quite strong and nice and there you've got Snowball's eye sticking out for you so now we've got the carrot here now I'm going to do a bigger, slightly bigger box so you can see the carrot comes down to where his teeth is and comes underneath his hand so I'm going to, rather than just having a triangle I'm going to have that box so at the back end of the box of the carrot you've got remember a letter C just do a big C round there and then you can bring that down let's do his fluffy paw so the paw has got a little bit of a curve in inside that box that you drew there and you can make his hand and his hand just comes above the top of the carrot as he's holding it so there we have a fluff on the edge and his little fingers are indicated so let's just get rid of that construction line inside and then the carrot comes in and it comes to a point just about here so now you can do a V to go up he's very very aggressive with his carrots and he uses them for the lock to pick a lock and again on the carrot you've got the kind of lines around the edge that give it its shape and then out the back we've got the nice green leafy bits and then you just whack the construction lines in earlier and then you can just follow them and just put some swirly bits on for the leafy bits at the top and then you've got your carrot and his arm very quickly so now let's just whack in the rest so here we've got his right paw and that comes down with his body so bring the edge of his body down to his right foot and it comes right underneath his tummy down here remember with drawing you're making an impression and I'm doing these very very quickly to help you I remember how if you spend longer on a piece of art you can create and there's his fluffy tail out the back a much more detailed drawing but remember this is quick and fun how to draw things quickly getting and using the shapes down 
and using these characters is brilliant because they've got so many wonderful simple shapes and yet they look so complex. So there's his right paw. So there now, very quickly, you just have a very simple outline. Now you could have done that with a felt tip pen as well. Remember, I'm using simple, simple pencils. So now let's just erase out some of these construction lines inside his head and inside his ear. I'm using a putty rubber for this. Normally I would use my hard Mars plastic. Oh, there it is. So that erases out and cleans up quite quickly. So there we have Snowball the outline down in minutes and now we are going to tone up everything so you could have done that very lightly but we are going to use remember you can use the finger but we're going to use a nice piece of kitchen towel to make it go very quickly now he's very 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 light and fluffy but even so the light here is coming from this direction you can see the highlight along the carrot and the shade going across his tummy so i'm just going to use the side of my pencil nice and quick And I'm going to fill in a lot of his tummy over there, coming down, underneath, down the side of his right foot there, and the highlights on the front, the back of his tail, where it joins his body, and underneath is going to be fluffy, all down the base, just the right of his arm, again down the left hand side of his face. is done and there coming down his cheek and up over the top of his head and then underneath his eye to make him look a little bit sinister again i'm just pressing on very lightly so even this you can see how he starts to stand out and his eyes and you can darken underneath his eye and that's what makes him look a little bit sinister as well. And then the pink is a similar tone to here. Again, you can use actual colour. Coloured cranes if you want. Now, I'm just whacking this tone in all the same, but there is a little bit of depth. Now, the side of his ear is a little bit different, so I'm just filling some in. The shadow underneath, this ear is casting shadow on this ear, up to about there. So let's shade in that bit there, and lightly, and then getting a bit darker, coming down to where he joins his head. And then the front of his left ear, going round. And then just down the side of his head. But we can use this piece of kitchen roll again. Just pull it to a point and put it underneath your finger and if you smudge you get that nice smooth and you can actually fill in the tone elsewhere so you can smudge that down. Remember once you've got on there pencil you can actually create so down the side of his nose there and the side of his eye. The eyeball itself will have a little bit of shade And you can even use that just to fill in. Ooh. Now that is grease on the paper from something. And I'll just use the eraser to highlight that up a bit. <clears throat> so let's smooth all the shade down. And then smooth that off coming round in the strongest highlights are all here. We need to do his ear, so smooth that down. Now again, grab your eraser and now you can add nice quick highlights over the top of his eye. Just going to pick 
out the highlight in his eye again and then the iris heighten that up and the eyeball and then lighten this one up on this side and then follow the eyebrows again use your eraser as a drawing tool again remember on Gidget we did the fluff so just pinch your rubber your eraser to a nice point and you get to put all the nice fluffy lines in and you can do the same on his cheek down here again his nose is all in the light but then down this right hand side you've got a reflected highlight all up the side of his head you can highlight his left eyebrow and just dab and pick and point again the same thing right up on the ear now his ear is nice and smooth inside so just take out a huge amount with your eraser and then get a clean part on the kitchen towel and smooth it back in again and now you see how you get the highlighted bit inside so remember let's do this on but not as hard this time you just need a little bit out just dab it and then smooth over again again let's just bring up the highlight on his ear and this is how you do nice white fluffy creatures and let's make his nose sorted remember the lights coming from this way so leave the highlight point in that direction highlight above pull out the highlight directly on the nose and then we can just darken the carrot down shadow underneath there and if you use the side of your pencil and just draw the lines in the direction of the carrot that helps too so actually make marks that guide visually your eye on how you want it to go so now we've nearly done if we just highlight and pull up his paw that reflected highlight down the tummy his front left paw his front right paw all his toes are in the highlight and then his right side there his fluffy white tail and then the carrot and that pretty much is Kevin Hart's snowball character from The Secret Life of Pets now if we just darken down under his teeth to make him more sinister really darken the shadows down under his eyes that are above his eyes you see how that makes him look a little bit more sinister and the same thing just down with his mouth and under his chin and under his tummy and then his right foot and under his left eye And that's how you make Snowball look a little bit more sinister. 
And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do like and subscribe. There's very quickly how to draw Snowball to go with how to draw Max, Gidget and Duke from The Secret Life of Pets. We'll go on to something new next time. But there's the last one. Again, how to draw something nice, white and fluffy very, very quickly. Again, remember, you can use your finger, you can use a kitchen towel and to use your eraser as a drawing tool. Thanks again. That's been good fun drawing this terrible, nasty, evil monster of a creature from The Secret Life of Pets, even though he's very white and fluffy and cute. Thanks for your time. Please do like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Ta-da.